Oh man, this little car is so much fun, guys. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be installing, a, let me show you guys, a boost pressure gauge to the Mini Cooper. So I'm trying to establish a base boost pressure right now before I start doing more modifications to the car. So you you have a lot of options in um, boost gauges, but I went with this um, gauge because it was accessible. I picked this one up from Harbor Freight. It was only about 20 bucks. And I got the bracket from O'Reilly's and it was about five bucks. And um, what I did was, um, as you guys can see, I removed the side panel over here. And I went ahead two holes and mounted the gauge to the panel. You have a lot of options out there. I know they have custom parts that goes behind the tack. I didn't want to order any part and be waiting on them. So I just went ahead and went with this setup. And you have a lot of options in gauges as well. I just went ahead with what I could find right now. I might upgrade it later, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and go on with the installation. So we're gonna go ahead and access a vacuum line on the bottom of the of the inner cooler. So what you need is a T30. And you can just go ahead and slide this up. Put this on the side. All right guys, so you're gonna be getting your vacuum from right there. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. The gauge comes in the kit with the hose and the T fitting. So all you're gonna be doing is this hose that you took off the intake, you're gonna be putting it off and installing that piece and this piece is gonna go into the hose and this end is gonna go connected to the intake manifold. Alright guys, so I'm gonna be running my vacuum line to the, the garment right there behind the booster. So what I did was just went ahead and got a screwdriver and made a hole through here. And that's why I'm gonna be running the vacuum line through. I'm gonna go ahead and route it. This is how I ran the line. Held them on with some zip tie under the intake through the booth right here. And now to the inside. What you're gonna wanna do is um, pop off the cover from on the side right here. It just clips and it just pop out. And you wanna pop off this as well. It just um, held in by this little nut right here. You're just gonna pull and it's gonna come up. And as you guys can see, I access the line through there and I'm gonna run it through here and to the back of the gauge. I went ahead and made two holes on the panel to run the line through. As you guys can see right there, so once you have all the lines through the vacuum line, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the intercooler. All 
Alright guys, so you're gonna need a T25 bit to go ahead and remove the two bolts that holds down the tag and, and you're gonna wanna tap the wire that comes out of um, the number 4 spot that's for the headlights that's where I'm gonna get my power from and I went ahead and ground I got my ground from let me get the light I went ahead and got my ground from the chassis right here so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back together and we're gonna test it out man guys um my 30 dollar boost gauge i hope you guys like this video don't forget to smash the like i'll catch you guys in the next video peace